This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadrivadi Chonai. Dear friends, are you ready? Today, we are going to see one word substitution part 6. You just write heading one word substitution part 6. One word substitution part 6. You see here, one word substitution means what? A single word is used in place of a group of words or phrase in order to make the sentence structure clearer. Shall I repeat it? Okay. A single word is used in place of a group of words or phrase in order to make the sentence structure clearer. Understand? This is very, very important and useful for the students who are going to write different bank examinations. Understand? Shall we start? Okay. Antidote. Antidote. How do you spell? A-N-T-I-D-O-T. A-N-P-I-D-O-T. Antidote. That means what? A medicine taken or given to counteract the bad effect of any medicine, poison, etc. Understand? A medicine taken or given to counteract the bad effect of any medicine, poison, etc. That is why medicine, poison, would have bad effect of counteract them for medicine. That is called antidote. Antidote. A medicine taken or given to counteract the bad effect of any medicine, poison, etc. Counteract. How do you spell? C-O-U-N-T-E-R-A-C-T. Counteract. That's what it is. It is Okay. Next. Antiseptic. This is what you know. Antiseptic. How do you spell? A. N T I S E P T I C A N T I S E P T I C antiseptic. That means what? An antiseptic compound or preparation prevents the growth of disease causing infection. An antiseptic compound or preparation Prevents the growth of disease causing infection. Understand? Or antiseptic compound or preparation, in a saying, infection of Undubanagodaya, disease would have Valachia, Tarko. Understand? An antiseptic compound or preparation prevents the growth of disease causing infection. Next one. Aquarium. Aquarium. How do you spell? A. Q. U. A. R I U M A Q U A R I U M Aquarium. That means what? A transparent water tanker in which fish and other water creatures and plants are kept. Understand? A transparent water tanker in which fish and other water creatures and plants are kept. You are able to understand? For a transparent water tanker, fish, but water creatures and the plants are the aquarium. Understand? So, aquarium means a transparent water tanker in which fish and other water creatures and the plants are kept. Next. In vulnerable. In vulnerable. How do you spell? I N V U L N E R A B L E I N V U L N E R A B L E In vulnerable. That means what? Impossible to harm anybody or damage anything. Impossible to harm anybody or damage anything. That means what? Yari. Kaya Pata Mudia, the thing of Vika Mudia, or Yadi in damage Panamudia, that is called invulnerable. Understand? 
impossible to harm anybody or damage anything. Next, contagious. Contagious. That means what? Thotrum Thanmai Udaya. Thotrum Thanmai Udaya. Contagious disease room. How do you spell? C-O-N-T-A-G-I-O-U-S. C-O-N-T-A-G-I-O-U-S. Contagious. Thotrum Thanmai Udaya. That means what? A disease which spreads by contact. A disease which spreads by contact. Contagious means what? A disease which spreads by contact. Understand? Then, epidemic. How do you spell? E-P-I-D-E-M-I-C. E-P-I-D-E-M-I-C. Epidemic. That means what? A widespread occurrence of an infectious disease. A widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. A widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Particular title, Peru Variaha Paravira Totu Noida Epidemic. Understand? Or a particular title, or community, Peru Variaha Paravira Totu Noida Epidemic. Understand? A widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Then, entomology. Entomology. How do you spell? E-N-T-O-M-O-L-O-G-Y. E-N-T-O-M-O-L-O-G-Y. How do you pronounce? Entomology. Entomology. That means what? Study of Insects. Study of insects. Poochi gila patri ayu pundra entomology. Study of insects. Next. Galaxy. Galaxy. Win mean kutam. Okay. Galaxy. A large groups of stars in the sky. Galaxy means what? Large groups of stars. Kutam kutam ayurka kudiyadu. Okay. Sky ila. Large groups of stars in the sky. That is called galaxy. Min mean kutam. Okay. Min mean. Large groups of stars in the sky. Then extravaganza. How do you spell? E X T R A V A G A N Z A. Extravaganza. That means what? Kaliyatam. An elaborate and a spectacular entertainment program. That means what? Kaliyatam. Kutam Kumala Madipanga. Okay. That is called uh, extravaganza. Next. Novice. How do you spell? N-O-V-I-C-E. Novice. That means what? Oru tholilukku, oru jobukku, pudhiyavar. A new entrant in a job or profession. A new entrant in a job or profession. That is called novice. N-O-V-I-C-E. P I C E Pudyavar. Okay. Nigard. Nigard. How do you spell? N I Double G A R D. Nigard. Kanjan. What do you get to Kanjan? A stingy or an ungenerous person. A stingy or an ungenerous person is called Nigard. N I Double G A R D. Nigard. Kanjan. Okay. Next. Neurotica. Neurotic. How do you spell? N-E-U-R-O-T-I-C. Neurotic. That means what? Narambian. Some of One who suffers from nervous disorder. One who suffers from nervous disorder. Nervous disorder. That is suffer from nervous disorder. Neurotic. Person sort of. Okay. Neurotic. N-E-U-R-O-T-I-C. Narambiya Samadhaman, okay? One who suffers from nervous disorder. Next. Narcotic. Narcotic. How do you spell? N-A-R-C-O-T-I-C. Narcotic. N-A-R-C-O-T-I-C. Narcotic. That is the or Thukam Undakam Arundh. Podai or Thukam Undakam Arundh. 
narcotic is a drug that relieves pain and induces sleep narcotic is a drug that relieves pain and induces sleep that is called narcotic poi or thookam undaakum marundu then mochuvari mochuvari that means what savakkidangu or penangale tarkaligamaga vaikum idam savakkidangu or penangale tarkaligamaga vaikum idam mochuvari how do you spell m o r t u a r y mochuvari a building where dead bodies are kept for some time a building where dead bodies are kept for some time that is called mortuary okay next missionary missionary how do you spell m i w s i o n e r y missionary that means what mother bodhagar mother bodhagar one who works with a spirit of service one who works with a spirit of service that is called missionary one who works with a spirit of service next scapegoat scapegoat how do you spell yes c e p e g o a t s c a p e g o a t scapegoat paligada perar pali sumappavar understand sila idhukku paligada aayiruvaanga illa sambandhame illa avanga but avangala paligada vaakiruvaanga that is called scapegoat a person who is blamed for the wrong doings or mistakes or faults of others a person who is blamed for the wrong doings mistakes or faults of others understand then sayan sayan how do you spell s c i o n s c i o n sayan that means what varis or vali thondal young member of a noble family young member of a noble family uyir kudumbathilundu vandha oru young member than sayan alad sayan solalam sayan s c i o n sayan next sojourn sojourn how do you spell s o j o u r n s o j o u r n sojourn that means what siridha kaalam thangi irukiradha sojourn you stay for a short time at your place you stay for a short time at your place sojourn understand siridha kaalam thangi irukiradha sojourn then solo how do you spell s o l o solo oruvarin or vaathiyathin thani is that is called solo oruvarin or vaathiyathin thani is that means what a piece of music played or sung by one person alone unaccompanied a piece of music played or sung by one person alone unaccompanied understand solo then sort how do you spell s o t that means what kudigaran a habitual drunkard avanala kudikama irukka mudiyadhu eppovume okay mudiyama irundhalum kudipam he is called sort s o t kudigaran a habitual drunkard then stampede stampede how do you spell s t e m p e d stampede that means what nerkam a sudden rush of frightened people or animals a sudden rush of frightened people or animals nerik thalvanga theriyuma edho oru payam yerpatta edho onnu something yerpattu oru therku othu idichu thalvanga stampede aayiruvanga adhu sila per yerandru kuda seivanga okay stampede nerkam a sudden rush of frightened people or animals then stoic stoic how do you spell stoic s t o i c gnani or virupu verupatravan a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining 
or one who is indifferent to pleasure and pain understand a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining or one who is indifferent to pleasure and pain shall i repeat it okay you see here stoic s t o i c stoic gnani or veruppu veruppettravan a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining or one who is indifferent to pleasure and pain last one triennial triennial that means what moonru varadathukku oru murai yerpada koodiyadha understand triennial recurring every 3 years recurring every 3 years how do you spell t r i e w n i a l t r i e w n i a l triennial recurring recurring every 3 years understand is it clear are you able to understand okay let me finish up to this level thank you very much for having attended this class continuously if you like this course if you are interested in attending this class if it creates any positive vibration in your mind please share with your friends and others it will definitely certainly and surely make my dreams realized i will meet you this time tomorrow and then goodbye m kadrivedu thank you